And the Garden State, it is perfectly legal to buy a homeowner's unpaid tax bill, charge a high interest rate, then take the home if the bill's not paid. But uh, what would you think if a school run by a house of worship were doing it? Here's Jeff Cole in Fox 29 Investigates. So, Kate, the boys will be home soon. Donna Maxwell, a single Yay. mom in Burlington County, is raising the youngest four of her eight children in this Springfield mobile home. She lost her job as a cashier and faces medical problems in her family. Maxwell is proud she's been able to stay in her hometown of almost 50 years until now. This is a trailer on a piece of property, acre and a quarter. Um, the kids have been made fun of it so much, all eight kids, because we live in a trailer. But it's so funny, all their friends want to come here because this is where the love is, this is a home. It's not much, but it's ours. But that's the problem. This rundown trailer and the surrounding land doesn't belong to Maxwell, not any longer. In fact, she has just two months before she must get out. She's facing a spring eviction. So who's telling her to leave? Who owns the property? You may not believe it. The Life Center Academy, a religious school, foreclosed on the property. It's been placed under the control of another entity with an address at the Fountain of Life Center, a church located on what it calls a spiritual oasis in Burlington. So how did this come about? Well, when taxes aren't paid, New Jersey law allows communities to sell what are called tax liens at auction. Anybody can bid, pay off the taxes, and then demand repayment from the property owner plus interest fail to pay, and they can move to take the home. That is what's happened to Donna Maxwell and her family. So your understanding is this church has paid these taxes yep. because it wants this property. Yes. And it's going to throw you the hell yes, out of here. Yes, and it won't. And I've asked if we could rent. And the lady I called last week, she wanted to return my phone call. It works this way. The group that buys the back taxes can file to take the home or foreclose after two years. If the banks stay out of it, it falls into their lap for the little they paid. There were 54,000 foreclosure filings in New Jersey last year, the most since 2010. More than 2,000 were filed on people who didn't pay their taxes. Maxwell's liens were bought for only a couple thousand dollars 14 years ago but the school is allowed to charge 18% interest under the law. She's now told she owes a stunning 55 grand. I came here at 22 and I'm leaving at 50. He was the life of everything. Maxwell says she fell behind when her dad, who helped her pay the tax bills, got ill. The land is actually in an ex-husband's name, but he's out of the picture. She says she thought an earlier bankruptcy would protect her family. You think you're drowning? Yeah, I feel like I am. W w think about it, where are you going to go? If they, when they come and throw you out, your stuff is left behind. I don't have money for storage, I, so we'll take what we can take and that's it. We wanted to know why a church is wrapped up in this. Meet executive pastor Dave, David Baldwin. Let me tell you, we have heard from folks who are really concerned and upset about it. Well, and I think from? you could probably. Who have you heard okay, from? Donna Maxwell. I don't know her. Surprised that a church is in the tax lien business? So was our financial expert. Yeah, I've been doing this a long time. I've been working with uh, nonprofits and I've been managing money for a long time. I've never once heard of a nonprofit, let alone a religious nonprofit buying tax liens. Dan Ricotta was a wealth manager and a Fox 29 contributor. He's also served as a mayor and councilman in New Jersey. Buying tax liens is clearly an appropriate and legal tool, he says, but Ricotta does wonder why any church would go down this path. I suspect most congregants might be very uncomfortable with the concept of buying tax sales, ultimately foreclosing on homes, creating more homeless instead of less homeless. And it's gotten messy. A few years back, a business controlled by the Fountain of Life Center, the church, drew the attention of antitrust investigators at the Justice Department. That business was charged with conspiracy, pleaded guilty, paid a fine, and got probation. Now, a civil lawsuit that names the church may cost a quarter million dollars. Remember Pastor Baldwin? We pressed him about Maxwell losing her home. Donna Maxwell is being foreclosed on. She's okay. told she's got to she leave by taxes? the string. 
Well, no, she hasn't. Oh, well, she should pay her taxes. That's the law. Well, do you think a church think should foreclose on her and no, kick no, her no, out? No. No, no. no. Is, is if, that what if you folks do? Pay their taxes, somebody's going to. Somebody's going to buy should it. Lead. Should it be a church? That's a state law. Should it be a church? Seriously, should it be a church that does that and tells I, her to go? I don't know, Donna Maxwell. Executive Pastor Dave Bodwin also said he was no longer involved in any of that and claimed the church had stopped buying tax liens. We questioned the church state parent organization, the District Council of the Assemblies of God, its superintendent, Reverend Carl Coletti, called tax liens leading to foreclosures repulsive. Tomorrow at 10, another local woman faces the loss of her home and the feds come calling. Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Can't wait to see that report. Absolutely.